I learned as a, when I was young, training with those guys at Metroflex, you know, as a teenager, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you step out of your comfort zone and you're training with guys that are not mm -hmm. training one or two levels above you, but four or five levels above yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like hanging on for dear life and just try mm -hmm. to finish, you know, and uh, no matter what, don't quit. What? Almost anybody can do a hard set. Yeah. Okay, big deal. Try, try, try training every set you do like that mm. for you know five, four, five, six exercises, mm. multiple sets every set like that every five, six days a week. Mm. Multiply by a decade. Mm. We'll see who. Then you've done something. Yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, these insta famous guys, you know, they put some crazy stuff on there and. And uh, like you said, it's edited or it's photoshopped, whatever. You know, some of these cats, I think they, I know a couple of them in particular don't even use real weights. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so it's all bullshit. Man. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, and some of the stuff they do, yeah, it's true. It's impressive to get views or likes, but, mm -hmm. you know, we mean nothing. <laughs> champions and the people that really have, have done something you know, they, they grind every day man mm -hmm. and, uh, you know all that hard when you see them on stage or you see them you know in a meet whatever they're doing you don't see the hours of solitude in the gym when ain't nobody watching nobody's filming you mm -hmm. you're just in there getting it you know and um, you know we've been in there toiling away in that gym for I think 27 years now and um, you know there's no cameras in there. There's still no yeah. cameras in there. Mm. You know, people don't bring their cell phones in there. Um, you bring a cell phone in and people get pissed off at you. Mm. So cause that's not what it's about. You're in there to train. And um, I think uh, that's, some, that's it's not something that's tangible. I think you have to experience it and live it yourself to understand it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> the whole uh, discussion around this is not like, you know, People can do whatever they like, that's my opinion, but, uh, but I think it's good to, to tell people about uh, uh, like what the old school, real school type of feeling really is, is with you know, passion and purpose and, uh, and be you know, pure with, uh, with your thoughts around uh, training hard with high intensity. And, uh, I agree with you. I don't understand for, you know, uh, like I watched that video and I'm, I kind of got a little amped up during it, during it when I told uh, you know everybody to f off that uh, wants to criticize what we do because uh, what's wrong with hard work? Yeah. How would you criticize somebody for working hard? Mm -hmm. To me, that makes no sense. That's mm -hmm. ignorant. Mm -hmm. And uh, you never ever hear me criticize other people on how they train. You know, if they they train light, whatever, that's up to them. Uh, what I'm talking about is what we do as hardcore bodybuilders and. You know what the whole gasp mm. culture is about mm. gasp attitude so um you know if you want to train differently cool go for it man i don't mm. care you know if you want to get your bouncy balls and bounce them against the wall and catch them or whatever and jump up and down more power to you brother but on the flip side of that don't criticize me for what i do 
So uh, just because it ain't right for me, don't mean it ain't right for you. And you should remember that. You have to learn to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And that's a hard thing to learn, you know, because bodybuilding, especially hardcore bodybuilding, you're gonna be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you train, I mean, if you train at high intensity and you train it hard, you're gonna be uncomfortable, man. You sometimes learn how to take the pain and train through the pain, especially during a high rep set, you know, you're pushing heavy weight. Um, that's a hard thing mentally, that's a hard thing to, to, to learn to be comfortable with. And then once you learn to be comfortable with it, you gotta learn to embrace it. And, and love it, you know, I got to- And then do it again. Yeah, and do it again. You rest 60, 90 seconds, yeah. do it again. You ain't really recovered from the first set yet. You know, the pain's still there. Yeah. And now you're gonna jump on it and do more and do it in a harder set. So, uh, you know, I, it took me a while to learn to embrace it after I learned to accept it and, and kind of get comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Once I learned to embrace the pain, I'm like, all right, this pain is what makes me bigger, what makes me stronger, mm -hmm. what makes me better. Mm -hmm. So I learned to embrace it. But I think uh, <clears throat> when we've been traveling the world, uh, like we've been doing, we've been meeting with uh, you know successful uh, business people and uh, you know successful athletes and uh, and and what they have, uh, all of them have said uh, something that you know they kind of like glue them together, regardless if it's business or a successful athlete, uh, and they uh, they say that uh, uh, you know learning how to be. Uh, comfortable with a with a very uncomfortable uh, everyday situation, yes. where you you know put yourself uh, through uh, the ringer uh, and you seek it again and again and again. Uh, that's something that uh, is very common, you know, from you and and many other. That's how you achieve success. Um, you got to be willing to do what others aren't willing yeah. to do. I'd be willing to do it, but learn to embrace it and be comfortable doing yeah. it. Uh, you know. As a pro bodybuilder, it's not for everybody. And um, you know, you're gonna train harder than you ever trained before. Mm. You're gonna be sore. You're gonna go through intense pain during your workouts every single day. Uh, off season, you're gonna eat so much food that you're gonna be miserable because yeah. you have to eat so many calories, good clean calories to grow. You know, I remember staying up at 12, 1 o'clock in the morning trying to get my last meal in. Mm. And I was so full I couldn't eat. Yeah. I'd take a bite, chew it up, drink some water, swallow it. Mm. I used to get angry at my food. Yeah. And it's like I treat my food like a workout almost. So fuck, this food ain't gonna beat me. Yeah. And uh, I'll sit there and I'll just eat bite by bite until I got it all down. And yeah. then once you got it all down, you're like, I won this motherfucker. Yeah. And now you go to sleep for a few hours, wake up, and guess what? Yeah. Do it all again. 